need you, babe. Imagine, imagine we go. What up, what up, people? Welcome to the Ask Me Anything podcast. Anything goes, banter, be the truth here. Exactly how it is. AMA, okay, ask me anything. Let's start with Ronaldo and Messi. Ah, uh, no, that's a very touchy topic. I don't want to touch that topic. I'm scared. The reason why I don't touch that topic is because of the fans. They're toxic, man. I'm a mess. I'm, 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 my preference is Messi, of course, but I don't want to touch that topic, bro, man. Like, the what? fans are just annoying and toxic. No, especially Ronaldo fans. Yes, Ronaldo fans are doing the most you get like, yeah. with everything they are saying because. Messi's in a tight spot. The problem with this whole topic about Ronaldo Messi, this is my own two cents on it. I don't really care what people think, but this is how I reason. I like to properly think, analyze situations. If Messi was in the wrong, I'll say it. Okay. So, Barcelona did not drop a written, documented offer to Neil Messi. Okay. There was nothing like that. It was just no normal verbal agreement. Like, we want to get you back. And it was inclined. He wanted it. Right? He made it clear that he wanted it. Now, he has said that he wanted to go back to Barcelona. The problem I have now is, why does anybody have the right to feel when someone says, this is what it is, this is what I want for myself, this is what I want to do? Why do you think you can just bring up your assumptions? And mind you, assumptions is the lowest form of thinking. Between is guessing. You cannot just bring assumptions to just say, oh, he said he wants to go back to Barca because he's scared to, that like, he has failed in PSG. Like, but, I, but, but what kind of thought is, how would you say he feel? What? Um, what's the word? Criteria now? for failure. Yeah, what's the criteria for failure in that essence? Uh, like, by Messi's standard, you should be getting close to 20, 30 goals in the season. You get with like a 10 young Gen Z with his hormones going all everywhere, right? We cannot change or remove the fact that Messi underperformed at PSG. He, quite, he actually did. I'm a Messi fan, but I'll tell you the truth, he actually did. And I can I can see that that has to do with his untimely um, departure from Barcelona. He didn't want to leave. But back to my original point. So, Messi was in a very delicate spot to the point of, this is what Ronaldo fans need to get. How Make this make sense to me. If Messi goes to Saudi Arabia, mm -hmm. you say he's going for money and it's just like Ronaldo, right? Yeah. If Messi goes to Man City, you say he's scared because he failed, he feels like he cannot make it at PSG. He That's wants why to he left. Yeah. England, yeah. If he goes back to Baka, you say, I already saw some people texting and typing on comment section. Like, like Ferguson said, he's a one-team player. That's why he wants to go back to Barcelona. Fine. If Messi says he wants, to, he wants to go to MLS, you say it's because of Apple deal and this and that and this and that. My dear, what will he do that will make you happy? Like Aimba United. Aimba. <laughs> no, it's really sad, honestly, sad because the thinking about the way a lot of people think is true sentiment and not logic. True. And it's born out of my preference, who I like. Now, Messi saying that if I wanted money, I'll go to Saudi Arabia. I'm not sure he said that to attack Ronaldo. I'm not sure he did that. But then it will no, make. But, but we all know that his Saudi deal. If he took it and they said he went for money, it would slap Ronaldo's deal like way out. Yeah, it would. But then there was someone I was talking with on Instagram and then he made this assumption. said Saudi never, ever, ever at all dropped any deal for him. It's all propaganda. Because he cannot just fathom the idea that, that somebody would turn down one billion euros. And I'm like, guy, you are sad. It's, you it's are pain. sad. It's like, pain. you are just it, sad pain. to the core. And I'm like, this guy, like, your, your thinking, your thinking baffles me. And it's just like hey, most, most um, it's how fanatics. Yeah. It's how but, but then it, we, we can have our arguments without insulting each other. But then your thinking is weird. Like, how can you say that they didn't bring an offer when documents is saying they did. Now, I'm not talking about the revised offer or whatever. They did bring an offer. Yeah, because, because Messi made a statement. I would have gone to Saudi Arabia if I wanted money. Which means the deal would have been more. And then there's this thing people have been saying. That you guys use your brains. Think. It, it goes to MLS. Um, the deal will eventually sum up to being more than what Saudi Arabia has given him. Because of the Apple, whatever, wait, wait, shares wait, wait, and wait, everything. Even if you say the Apple shares and the rest. Even if he goes to Saudi. There will be such deals. On top of... 
Exactly. So how is the MS, the MLS deal bigger than the Saudi deal? My own question is this. I, I'm sorry, my own assignment is, is any Ronaldo fan that can come out with a substantial and a very Logical. well documented, documented backup claim to show me that the total deal MLS is offering him is with the shares is more. You're not just Saudi. seeing something you saw somewhere. It's like it's something that you've, you are seeing is stated on paper. He's getting that, X amount Yeah, he's getting Apple. X amount from Apple. He's getting this. Not just that you're just thinking about and you just what assume it, what, it could, what it could be and then you bring as an inference to me and I'll say that is why I feel he went to MLS bro get a grip this guy if he wanted money would have gone to Saudi Saudi deal was more than MLS deal wow. even with the Apple shares and everything that's your business it wasn't up to the Saudi deal whether you like it or not Ooh. and then if Messi really wanted a challenge, you know, someone would have said, uh, if he had gone to the top of the table team, they would have said, hey, why is it not normal? He went to the team that already wins the league. Yeah, but he went, he to, went to a 15. They were 15. They finished 15th last season. And to Ronaldo fans. You and to Ronaldo it. fans. I remember when you said Ronaldo has conquered it all, that he can play everywhere. When he went to Juve, I don't think Juve was a success. To me, that's not success. Like, what they signed Juve for was not what he did. Well, for me, I think Juve got more of the out of that entire deal more than Ronaldo, basically. How? I'm talking about what, why, why do you think Juve signed Ronaldo? Let's be honest. Why do they signed him? T-shirt sales. That's not why they signed him. Juve signed him mainly, majorly because of Champions League. Yeah, but he didn't get that. But he didn't, that's what I'm saying. So how did he conquer Juventus? And even if even conquered, if conquered, no. And even who, if you want to tell that? Pe Ronaldo fans, come on, now. the Ronaldo fans will always tell you that Ronaldo went to Italy, he conquered. I'm like, conquered what? They've been winning the Scudetto for the past eight years Ronaldo comes they still win the Scudetto he didn't give them that mind you mind you let's look at Madrid mind you mind you I'm about to trade bomb now Real Madrid where fans say Ronaldo was the like, reason reason why they've been winning Champions League he left they still won Champions League yes they're doing well in fact they got to the quarterfinals this year this year again was it quarter or semi semi-finals semi I think semi yeah semi-finals semi semi like they're doing very very well quarter or semi doesn't matter the fact is Messi leaves Barcelona and the best my team has gotten is what mm. Europa and even that Europa we cannot win it, win it. like win it. it's that bad bro That's like it is probably. that bad Manchester United in our last like four encounters I don't think they've beaten me like Messi is in there and the Man U fans are so sure that we're gonna lose why because of the Messi factor they know this it's clear but then they'll still bring up the argument of blah 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 Messi is a one-man team but bro Messi leaves Baka when shambles Ronaldo leaves Madrid they win the Champions League without him Very they go true. to the semi-finals again Very and don't just come and tell me that oh they got it luckily please don't go, don't tell me it's luck Ooh, they took out Real Madrid took out Chelsea took out Man City took out PSG took Last out Liverpool season, they took out to win the Champions League but the right? needed to be taken out you get what I'm saying so like you cannot take away the fact I keep telling people that Ronaldo winning even Champions this, League even, no, even this season if not for Man City, Real Madrid would have taken the call. To be honest, yeah, oh, well, we'll, we'll know that by this weekend. Well, well true, but then, I mean, I, 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 like I said, I like to use logic. I don't want to use no, no, what no. will have gotten the call. I say they stand a very high chance because Real Madrid in Champions League are a different breed of people. Yeah, you, no, because look at the team that the team that took out. Okay, so Bayern. As, yeah. If you check that squad this season, yeah, Bayern Munich. on paper. You had said it's between Bayern or Real. Real Madrid this season. No, I don't think so because Man City's squad is quite, it's no, quite good. At the beginning of the season, look at the squads on paper. Forget the Haaland factor. Ah, you can't forget Haaland factor. No. <laughs> you, can, like, you cannot even forget. That guy is a more, his name His name brings fear in like people's veins. Like You know one of the reasons why Madrid had a problem with Man City? Because they had to man-mark Haaland. And in man-marking Haaland, they had to leave Bernardo Silva's free space, De Bruyne. Um, yeah, there were lots yeah, there of, were lots of options, options because you can't just use one player to and mark Pep Haaland. never creates a formation that yeah. revolves around a player. We play, uh, you get. Yeah, so, so, what those of you thinking about the best coach and best tactician? I think you are guessing your points, right? Yeah, so that's that's how I just. So at the end of the day, like I feel like Messi, as she made his choice, he wanted to come to Barcelona. Whether you like, like it or not, he wanted Baka. He wanted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm about to say something about Barcelona here. Yeah. So people saying that if Messi wasn't going for money, he should have. Play for free. Do you even do your research before you blot out? Like you just see things. You just say for that. Free. You just in say it. Liga. 
La Liga don't even allow players play for free. You cannot do that. It's not done. Uh -huh. It's not even done. Go and do your research. They can't allow him play for free. It's not done. And what did Messi say even when and Barca tried to... Exactly. Messi was willing to even collect pay cuts before he left the first time. So it's not as if he didn't want the pay cuts. It's that for Barca to sign Messi, for there to even be space for him to play, Barcelona literally have to offload about two to three players. He found out and was like, I don't want that to happen again. So you know what? Let's just close that chapter. Does that and I'm just going to... Why that's... can't you just accept does that, that this guy like, has... Does that, does that sound like a player going for money? Really? No, 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 no. Like, I'm just... My, my point is, why can't you just accept for once that it's not in the negative? Because it can be two ways. At the end of the day, nobody can question... Nobody, like, really knows what was in his heart. True. You can say it's because of money or it's because of this or because he loved... There are two ways to you. Some say it's because of money. Fine, your opinion. And your opinion it matters to you. Because he was trying to be a nice person. And he loves Barcelona and he loves the players and whatever. But that's which him. is also true. But my point carries more weight because that's what he said. Do you understand? That's and that's, fact. You're, and not, that's you're, fact. Not, you're not talking off of like yeah. SA or I'm not just talking off of done your research. Yeah, like so, this is what he says, and that's what I'm gonna go with. Like I don't care about your opinion, it's his opinion that matters at the end of the day. So yeah, to all Ronaldo fans and to any other fanatic out there who may be supporting one or two other people and don't agree to this statement, yeah. put in the comment section something sensible calm down calm down think about it before you type because yeah. you, you will not enjoy the reply from age <laughs> no nah, i'm not even going to reply i'm not even going to show because the toxic um fanatics out there like jesus there's some arguments they about just it. agree the, some see let me tell you something here there are two kinds of people that i've seen in this fan base there, there are these people that they have knowledge and they will reason with you yeah but they don't like the idea of them and submitting they and they but they are this set of people that don't have ideas but they are just they have emotions like the emotions is that you know when you're a confident ignorant person like you don't know much but then you are confident about it and then i'm like that's a losing argument bro like there's no point i'm, I'm gonna lose it's <laughs> yeah, gonna, lose gonna turn into insult so i'm like you know i'm guy i beg no stress like whatever it, it is what it is I, that's why when i was arguing with the guy in other words when we rather to get to world cup let's have a conversation like i was done i'm like i didn't know what else to say i said sh i just sent him a picture of me sleeping with the world cup and then he was like nice one and i was like guy like you you're not using logic so let me just let's just let's use what we have let's use what i can have i've done man so that's all I feel is going about the Ronaldo Messi saga. It's over with. Messi's playing MLS. You know what the sweet thing is. Imagine Messi now wins the league. Takes them from 15th to now win that league. Just imagine it. Just picture it for a second. Picture it for a second. And that you are accepting a new challenge. I'm not going to the top okay, of the team. You um, need to be on steroids to break Messi's look, entire record. Messi, what he did in the World Cup, like his performance, I can tell you that that guy, if he wants to turn up, if he turns up, this guy literally took the best defender in the World Cup, Vadio, and he tore him to shreds against Croatia. That was when he took him from the train line, took a run, All the way. twist and turned, then turned in, gave a pass, and then Alvarez scored it. Like, Even the last World Cup, the last one, the one he won. Yeah. Like, and, the, well, Messi, the, one that, the, one the one FIFA helped him win, like, Ronaldo fans uh, say. Okay, true. Yeah. Like, like there was a part of Messi we've never really seen, and that was the leadership. Yeah. Messi. We've, usually we know Ronaldo for that when it comes to country, this thing. I'm, I'm giving that to Ronaldo, but this World Cup, there was just something about the way Messi carried this. It wasn't more about him. Yeah. It was about the entire Argentine. Even now, uh, I'm an Arsenal fan, guys, if you guys don't know. My ex uh, keeper, mm -hmm. I've never seen keep like that in his life. Who is that? Uh, is it not Maris, the Argentine keeper? Oh, um, uh, the Martinez guy. Martinez guy. I've never seen him. You, you, know, you know the secret to Messi's sucks in the World Cup is not because Messi was a leader. It was because the team that were so, around him were ready to die for him. Like, they literally said it that if Messi, that we, they, li I'm not, they literally said it. If he doesn't we, win it. No, they were like, no, they said we will die for Messi. Like, they will kill themselves on the pitch. They must get this guy a World Cup. I'm not joking. Martinez said, he promised, like, this guy was like, I was going to get you South America Cup. Cup, he did Cup, it. He did it. It was like, now let's go for the World Cup. Like, this guy said, I will kill, I will die for you. Now, Dibala that's played. next level and, love, man. And Dybala even played, right? In that yeah, world. Dybala came in against uh, France during the dying minutes. And week. usually in FIFA, when you play Argentina, you usually don't put Dybala and Messi, Demaria. That yeah. kind of combo is a I, very... I, I think the, the move for Dybala was, it was necessary at that point because Demaria was off the pitch. They needed, they needed someone else that can create chances because, of course, Messi will probably be tired and they were marking him. And they needed... So they 
someone else and they knew there was a chance of you going into penalties. And trust me, the baller doesn't miss penalties. You know, Son, you know, Lukaku, uh, Timo Werner, should we, you know, Pulisic, it is, like, like, it is what it is. Chelsea, yeah. come on, you guys, next season. So I'm going to say this one time uh, to the fans out there, Ronaldo fans, Messi fans, let's live together one harmony. Let me just tell you one logical thing that's going to happen. You cannot fight it. A hundred years from now, if a hundred years comes, if people are going to like, Take back down in history, what they're going to say is, and did Messi win a World Cup? Yes, he did. Did Ronaldo, did Ronaldo win a World Cup? No, he didn't. Nobody's going to ask, was he favored by EA Sports? So it's best to just live with it and just let it sink. Celebrate in. and let's, you know, just let it go. Messi has won the World that's Cup. That's not a new banter. Okay? If you still feel like Messi is not the GOAT, it's opinion. Your opinion is welcome, like it's okay. But then when, when, you, you, when you draw the statistics and somebody winning it all, Messi has won it all. And then he will win the argument whether you want it to or it's not. Facts don't care about your feelings. No, sorry. You get it. So <laughs> it, I'm not. No, I'm not saying because I'm messy. I'm saying is even if it wasn't messy, one I'll tell you. No, he did win everything. He did win everything. What didn't he win? <laughs> what didn't he win? <laughs> Europa. <laughs> the hell is that? He already has Champions League no, now. No, not even the Europa. I'm talking about the Europe Cup, the one for Europe, like the way they have Copa America. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the one for you. He doesn't play in it. And that's also some of your fans who say, but he has it. Ronaldo has it. That's that's not even logic. Like you cannot comp you cannot tell like the idea like of winning like the said, idea of like winning it all is any competition that, that he has both have participated in. Right? Mm -hmm. What has it what, have they won it? Champions League, Messi has won four. Ronaldo has Ronaldo's won, won five. five. Yeah. So it doesn't matter if he has won but, the, but the weight of that World Cup. But the weight of the World, World Cup, Cup was like it's the biggest. Yeah, World Cup takes, is the biggest. It takes trophy. everything off. Yeah. yeah, it takes everything off. And Messi has won it. With a squad that on paper, let's be honest, is not as good as Portugal's squad. On paper, it isn't. It's, nah, it isn't. Nah, 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 that Portuguese squad. <laughs> Guy, they have Bernardo Silva, man. They have Bruno Fernandes, man. They have nah, Cristiano Ronaldo. That squad. Yes. Like the squad is a very good squad. Like it's a very good squad. Even compared our, to even our FIFA compared players. to even Otamendi, our... um, Alvarez. Like who was Alvarez before? He was a bench player for Man. Like he's a bench player for Man City, man. <laughs> Aside yeah. Di Maria and Messi, like who else? Di Bar where who is Di Bar Like we nobody knows him anymore. Do you get on paper Argentina squad is whack? It's honest true. Nobody uses Argentina in FIFA is that bad, but people will still use Portugal. Yeah, even speaking about players that use Portugal. Fola does. Fola is Portugal. So you Ooh. get yeah, that's what I'm saying. So at the end of the day, this way is that no district Ronaldo I, I respect I respect that guy a lot. But then data doesn't care about how you feel. Facts don't care about your feelings. So we're gonna be rounding up today and that's it from the gossip part of football and fans, fanatics, we love you guys. Let us know what you think in the comment section. Please bant me nicely. Safe.